YouTube, B Smoke House back here with you. We've got a 13 pound choice Angus brisket. I'm putting it on not so we can just eat straight brisket, but I'm going to do something with this. I'm not sure yet, but I'm cooking it tonight so it'll be done tomorrow so I can do whatever I want. Transform this into something other than just brisket. I find that my family eats uh, like brisket, but usually you can only eat so much brisket. Black pepper. Then we're going to hit it with some kosher salt. To be fully transparent, I saw that Mr. Yoder, Jeremy Yoder to be exact, did an experiment earlier where he used, uh, he used beef bouillon. I always have beef bouillon here and chicken bouillon. So I wanted to see what all the rave was about. I've used it before, but just not, not on brisket. Just one of those things. It amplifies beef flavor. I want to see how much. He says that he liked it and would start eventually using it uh, regularly. I want to see what he's talking about. Again, this is that bouillon. And we're going to come over. Nice coat of that. Add it in. <coughs> Notice that I'm not rubbing it. We pat it in. That's going to be good for the back side. We're going to give this a flip. Again, like I said, this is going back into my fridge. Let those seasonings soak in. So we, we're going to get some mustard down. Real simple. Plus the flexibility of me using that Weber kettle. I like that I don't have to always stand there. Once I get it dialed in, um, it's pretty, it's good to go. I don't have to stand there and watch it. The first hour or so, a bit cautious with that Weber kettle. Because um, if you don't get it shut down, it will spiral out of control. So, we're going to see how this comes out. Oh, that beef bouillon smells awesome along with these other spices. First thing we're going down with is black pepper. We're going to get these edges first. Get the edges. Let it bounce off my hand, hit the sides, get this point. All right, that looks good. Looking pretty good. I like that. All right, now we're going to come over the top. All right, we pat it in. I like that for pepper coverage. Then we come over. Uh, season salt. Again, this is going to go back in the fridge on my cookie sheet to let those flavors meld in. We are still going to hit the edges. This is still a very cold piece of meat.
Remember, it's looking good. Make sure we hit that point up. Something about the fattiness. When that fat starts rendering with this pepper, it's black salt. I said, I'm sorry, black pepper and salt. Something about it makes a brisket truly special. We're going to top it off with this beef bouillon. Give it a pat in. And we're gonna hit these sides with the beef bouillon, and that's gonna be it. Okay. Other than that, let's get it backed up. Looking pretty good. Smells delicious. We're gonna let that rock like that. I'll be back. The next time you guys see me is when I'm getting ready to put this on my smoker. Stay tuned. All right. Got our brisket on. Got a nice steady flow of smoke. It'll cut in and out. I got a few chunks on there and then I'm using some of those uh, Jack Daniels barrel oak wood chips. Let's see what we're looking like. Again, it's not gonna have any real color. See all that smoke coming off there? That brisket's looking pretty good. You no real color. I'm using a Kingsford Blue Bag. And we're going to let it roll. So my first check on this probably won't be until uh, three, three and a half hours in. This cattle, this is a 22-inch rubber cattle. Again, this is one of the old, older school cattles. No thermostat on it. Um, I've got... The exhaust about 50% open and I've got the uh, intake about 50% open. That'll give me around 225, 250. Maybe it jumps a little bit over 250. I'm fine with that. I'm using my smoke and sear attachment with water in the trough. Stay tuned. All right, we're right at about three hours in. Let's see how we're looking. All right, got some good drying out like that. Bark coming along. Bark got some color to it. I need that bark to get a little bit darker before I even think about wrapping. Um, I haven't spritzed. I wasn't planning on spritzing. I've got water down here in the trough. Um, as you can see, we got some winds blowing. I'm going to let this cook on like that color that I might turn it, give it a good flip. Um, but other than that, I'm going to let it be. Stay tuned. Eight hours in. I'm going to go ahead and wrap. Got some tallow. This came from this brisket.
it's been 12 hours. Uh, this brisket is tipping about uh, 200. I'm going to take it off. As you can see, we got some winds. I'm going to take it off, let it uh, rest for a little bit, and get it inside of my uh, warmer for the next four to. YouTube, B Smokers back here with you. Let's recap what we did before I pull this brisket out to uh, go ahead and slice it. Um, all right, so Friday, I took my brisket out. It was still partially frozen. I trimmed it. I put it back in the fridge, and then Saturday, uh, Saturday morning, I took it out and I seasoned it. Now, I seasoned it with uh, uh, 16 mesh black pepper, um, seasoned salt, and beef bouillon. It's my first time using a beef bouillon. We always have beef bouillon here in the house. I've just never used it on my uh, briskets. So, I smoked it on the 22 inch Weber kettle. I was gonna use my stick burner. However, we got some high winds in my area of Texas. So this smoked on the kettle for right at uh, 12 hours. Uh, I spritz after the first three hours. Once I saw some dryness, I used Kingsford Blue Bag um, with water in the trough on my uh, uh, smoke and sear attachment. Pretty easy cook. I was able to actually get some sleep while I while uh, cooking this brisket. After 12 hours, I put it off. I rewrapped it after coating it with beef tallow and then I put it in my little microwave oven on 150 and it's set at 150 for the past six to eight hours. Now, I think I mentioned in previous videos that uh, me holding stuff in my oven, my oven is uncalibrated. I haven't figured out how to calibrate it so that's why I got the microwave oven. However, it was uh, overcooking um, these larger meats so this duck right at 150 for the past six hours let's get it out slice into it so me and my family can sit down and eat all right here we go so um again this is the flat this is the point there were some things that i did not specifically like about this brisket for one it was choice i think we're going to start cooking only a prime i notice i get a lot of drying out um, and it may be due to temperature swings. However, you know, I kind of monitored, uh, this pit, um, because it doesn't have a, uh, uh, temp probe. Uh, so after a while I was using a wireless, uh, solution. So let's get into it and see what we have. At the end of the day, this would be used for sandwiches, but I really want to see what that, uh, beef bouillon tastes like. You can see that. See that? A real short, uh, flat section. Still moist, however, I know some of this is dried out. Um, didn't have as much fat as I like to have on it. We're going to go, we're going to stand this up, and I'm going to get some slices over here so I can actually. Let's see. See that? There's juice. It's still juicy, very much so. Has awesome flavor. So you can see that fat has been rendered. All right, a portion of this is a bit pot roasty. Don't necessarily like that. However, we are making sandwiches with it, so I'm not going to complain. Look at that bark. Bark looks excellent. Let's see if we can. Still pretty tender, all right. Tastes pretty good. That that beef bouillon kind of amplifies the beef flavor, of course. I'm not mad at it. Now, let's get a taste of that bark. It's actually pretty good. I like that. Um, that beef bouillon and it takes it up a few notches on a sandwich this is going to be killer stay tuned i'm going to uh get some pictures put a sandwich together bring you guys along 
and then uh, I'll go ahead and close this video out. All right, we back. I put a sandwich together. Looking pretty good, and I'm definitely hungry. This has been a long cook over the past few days. Let me go ahead and cut into this, get a taste test. While we're at it, if you haven't done so, um, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to Be Smokehouse. I notice most of my viewers are not subscribed. Please do me a favor. It's free. Hit that like button. Subscribe. I value all the feedback that you guys have given me over this year and um, the latter part of last year. Let's get into the sandwich. Let's see what we have. I've got onions on here. The only thing I'm missing is pickles. I didn't have any one any and nor did I make any that's looking pretty good let's go ahead and get a taste that bread come out nicely you see it's got some plump to it mm. Mm -hmm. there's something about the rawness the freshness of a onion Pad with barbecue sauce and brisket. This is a simple sandwich, however, it's delicious. Thank you guys for all your support. Stay tuned for the next video. Be Smokehouse out.